Audiobook Academy Biography Presents. Percy Julian. Percy Julian, an African-American chemist, was a pioneer in the chemical production of therapeutic pharmaceuticals, including cortisone, steroids, and birth control pills. Who is Percy Julian, and what is his story? He was a pioneering scientist who was not allowed to attend high school yet went on to receive his Ph.D. Percy Julian. His research in academic and corporate institutions led to the chemical synthesis of pharmaceuticals to cure glaucoma and arthritis, despite the fact that his race caused hurdles at every turn. Early Years Percy Levance born on April 11, 1899, Julian was the grandson of a former slave family in Montgomery, Alabama. There were no high schools that would accept him after the eighth grade. His first choice was to attend DePauw University in Indiana where he had to take high school level classes in the evening to keep up with his peers. Despite his difficult start, he went on to earn Phi Beta Kappa honors and the top spot in his class. Life in Academe The following year, Julian began teaching chemistry at Fisk University, his alma mater. To complete his master's degree at Harvard University, he left in 1923 after receiving a scholarship, but the university refused to allow him to pursue his Ph.D. In 1931, he received his Ph.D. from the University of Vienna in Austria after teaching in black colleges for some years. After receiving his doctorate, he returned to DePaul University to complete his studies. It was an international breakthrough in 1935, when he created a medicinal a treatment for glaucoma by synthesizing physostigmine from colobarbine, but despite his achievement, the institution declined to promote him to full professorship due to racism. After life and demise Because of his race, Julian was repeatedly turned down when he applied to big chemical businesses for positions. In the end, he was hired as the lab director at Glidden Company. Soy protein was utilized to make aerofoam, an oil and gas fire extinguisher that was widely employed during World War II. Other soy-based technologies were also developed there. After discovering how to extract the sterols from soybean oil and synthesis progesterone and testosterone, Julian continued his scientific research. Rheumatoid arthritis treatments were also made possible by his work on cortisone. As of 1954, Julian had left Glidden and founded Julian Laboratories. Julian Research Institute, a non-profit organization he founded and operated for the remainder of his life, made him one of the first black millionaires in 1961. On the 19th of April, 1975, he succumbed to liver cancer. Recognition. When he was elected to the National Academy of Sciences in 1973, Julian became the first black scientist to have that honor. Physostigmine synthesis was acknowledged by the American Chemical Society as one of the top 25 achievements in the history of American chemistry in 1999. In 1990, he was inducted into the National Inventors Hall of Fame. Private Life While working at Howard University, Julian met his future wife, Anna Roselle, who was married to one of his co-workers at the time. Julian was dismissed as a result of the controversy, but he and Anna went on to marry and have two children. Oak Park, Illinois became Julian and his family's new home in 1950. On Thanksgiving Day, the house was firebombed after the new owners purchased it. In June of that year, it was re-attacked. Julian's story was told in the documentary Forgotten Genius, which aired on PBS's Nova series. Thank you for listening in Audiobook Academy. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button for more content like this. See you in next video.